Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have today on Tuesday, the last individual set of Team of the Year cards to be released and put in packs, and that is the Defenders and Goalkeeper. We will be getting Van Dyke, Davies, Ramos, Trent, and Neuer in packs today on FIFA. Now, instead of three Team of the Year cards, we're gonna have five. We've got upgrade uh, SBCs and upgrade packs that are out. People are spamming those right now. I just want to talk again about upgrade packs a little bit, talk about what's happening with the market and how those upgrade packs have affected the market and then other stuff that we would see today as a Tuesday on FIFA. Now, one thing we are expecting today is the 12th man vote. And I want to show you guys a tweet about this because I was looking at this earlier and I, it was understood to me that we were not having nominees because when the English Twitch account, this is Twitch UK and Ireland, if you, as you can see here, but the Twitch US account tweeted out 12th man revealed. Twitch UK and Ireland tweeted out 12th man nominees revealed. So in this case, it looks like there's going to be nominees that are released. Originally, I thought it was not going to be nominees, just the 12th man revealed. So Today on Tuesday, I'm thinking we might have a, a vote for the 12th man nominees. And then, then that would be released on Thursday with the full team in packs. Because, of course, these defenders and goalkeeper probably going to be in packs for two days, just like the attackers and the midfielders were. So then I would expect to see that voting finished. And for you guys that will be like, is two days enough for voting? I think, yes, it is. Because two days is what we had for the period last summer during summer showdown when we would vote on... Uh, do a community vote for an SBC player that would be released with those showdown loan cards. So talking about that a little bit, of course, we're expecting Neymar and Messi to be in that vote for 12th man. Uh, I find this kind of interesting because I'm really curious to see what the dynamic is. Oh, by the way, they added the quality type for team of the year. So GGZA, thank you. Could have done that two days ago, but whatever. Um, I find it very interesting thinking about what could happen depending on um, who would win the vote in FIFA because it's it's different, right? It's different when the vote is in FIFA than when it's actually a vote on an EA website, maybe a little bit because obviously in, P in, in FIFA, you're going to see a loan card, right? If, if EA is doing it in a way where you get a loan card of the item in your club, that now means that you have that team. If they're giving out like a team of the year nominee or I don't know how they're going to do it, but you will then have that loan item in your club, which you could use for friendlies. So yes, somebody might want to vote Messi because they think Messi maybe deserves that team of the year. But if they see a Neymar, they might think, yo, let me go vote for this Neymar card because now this will mean I have an untradeable Neymar in my team, in my club that I can use for friendly games, friendly matches and stuff like that. So I'm very curious to see how EA does it today. Um, and I almost feel like Neymar might win over Messi just for that case and that case alone, that people would rather have a Neymar in their club untradeable as a loan than they would a Messi. Although I'm kind of hoping that Messi wins, Neymar also would be a pretty sick one, right? Because then you would have Neymar and Mbappe in pact at the same time. But I'm curious to see, even if Neymar and Messi are in the vote, we don't even know who's in the 12th man voting. Um, because it's potentially happening that Neymar could get a team of the week this week. So if we don't see Neymar in the voting tomorrow, number one, people would be outraged or today, not tomorrow. People would be outraged if there was no Neymar in the vote. Uh, and also that would almost guarantee that it has to be Neymar in team of the week. So I'm curious to see who the vote is today, who comes out and how that is decided. But that Twitch Rivals event is a going to be where there are the nominees revealed. And I'm guessing the, the voting will take place to, today as well. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work out. It's kind of weird, right? Because usually we have the 12th man announced um, earlier than this. But I'm guessing whatever the 12th man is, it's going to be out in packs on Thursday with the full team. Because especially with the defenders dropping today, it kind of has us thinking like how are how is the market going to be affected because again it's going to be another drop day where we have new team of the year cards coming into packs which means lightning rounds most likely um i think we had lightning rounds on sunday when the midfielders came into packs so i would expect lightning rounds today as well for the attack or the, for the defenders that are in packs the most interesting thing is people have been grinding upgrade sbcs for this basically 24 hour time period where the midfielders have been in packs and these midfielder cards just keep dropping in prices where they're kind of at right now. Kimmich, I think, is 
He's close to two mil. He might not. He's he's still about two point one. So maybe he's bounced back a tiny bit. But this guy was almost down to two million coins flat. I think all these cards still go lower. We'll talk about like kind of a buy time for these in the next day or two. Um, but again, expecting the defenders to come out today. These are the defenders are usually the cheapest out of all the team of year cards, right? You think about Trent Alexander Arnold last year, who was around a million coins. You think about the goalkeeper Neuer, who should be around. 500,000 coins to be completely honest. He might start at a million today and then drop down. Van Dyke is going to be expensive. Ramos will be expensive. Alfonso Davies is going to be the most hyped up one though that gets released today, especially with these smaller stat boosts that they're giving out. That Davies card, even though uh, it's a smaller stat boost than what they had done in previous years past for other team of the years, I think a lot of people are curious to see that Davies card today. That's going to be the one that everybody's going to have their eye on. He's going to be really expensive right away, kind of like Bruno was, I think. Uh, and then, of course, as they go into the Thursday time frame, you'll see these guys drop. But today as well, I would expect another SBC player because it's kind of like EA is going one day on, one day off. When they release the cards in packs, they're putting out an SBC as well. We had Ribéry with attackers. We had Dybala on the midfielder's day release. And now today on Tuesday, hopefully we get a midfielder or a defender SBC because we've had two attackers now. Hopefully get a midfielder or a defender. Of course, Conte is in the minds of some people uh, as a midfielder that could be in. Some people have mentioned like flashback Bonucci. Uh, that would fit what EA is kind of going for with the Serie A SBCs right now. That'd be very interesting if they did that, I think. Uh, so honestly, EA, it's your play. But I do think we get an SBC today. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what else content we would get. We have the upgrade SBCs that are out now. And that was the next thing I wanted to talk about is the upgrade SBCs and how they're affecting the market. I spoke on it a little bit in yesterday's video, but what you're seeing is there were some people yesterday that sold cards to go rip these upgrade packs and especially a lot of gold cards, right? You saw a lot of them drop. Radford was like 60,000 coins. He's down to 48K. Um, you know, Varane is down a decent amount at the moment. Where's Conte? Conte was at 175K. He was down from like 195K. I actually bought some Contes hoping, hoping for a little bit of a rise um, uh, as people link him together or buy him again for their teams this week. Uh, and set up some of the other gold cards like Pogba was down, Salah uh, was down. So it's kind of interesting how that impacted the market. And then other cards that were very inflated, some of them took a hit in price as well. Other stuff is still very, very expensive, very high in price. But this guy, Chiellini, was 320,000 coins. He was back to almost 280 at one point today. So he got knocked down a little bit in price just based off of the fact that people were probably using some of those coins to go out and open uh, upgrade packs and there was a little bit of selling on the market today but not much in general the market is still very very high uh, even though people are starting to put coins into upgrade packs the thing you can honestly do right now is and especially if we have a lightning rounds today it's going to be a fantastic time to do this is to go out and buy gold rares to bid on gold rares if you're going to start stacking packs when the full team is going to be in packs i mean if you take a look at these bids right a lot of them 700 coins you're going to be able to buy these cards on a bid and, and and put them in your unassigned and start crafting those upgrade packs that's one benefit of these upgrades that we have this year that we didn't have in years past is that you can kind of stack them ahead of time so when thursday comes that's even more cards and more packs that are going to be opened i guess the packs are going to be open cards are going to be obtained but that's going to be even more uh more packs opened on thursday with upgrade packs that will be sitting there as well now of course upgrade packs are untradeable but you're going to see people that are going to go out they're going to be packing cards like rashford like conte you're going to have pack supply for some of those gold cards on thursday as well which along with the supply might make them drop a little bit more so maybe the gold cards rebound a little bit into uh thursday with rewards time maybe a slight rewards rise before thursday at 6 p.m uh, but then i think honestly you might see them drop a little bit again with that reward supply and with people opening those packs and if they you know if you pack content you have in your team you're gonna go sell them and use your untradeable version so i think right now it, i mean it's a fantastic time today probably to get on some rares even if you don't want to open packs while the defenders are in packs for the next two days still start crafting right start crafting these upgrades you know put some in your store you know and i'm going to start doing this myself i know it takes away from some of the coins that you have to trade 
But I, in my opinion, at 750 coins per card, you're paying about eight to nine K per SBC. So you're getting for a million coins, you're getting like a uh, hundred to 115 of them done. And that's incredible value because that means you can craft so many of these SBCs from the premium Premier League upgrade. You get all those non-rares. You shift those non-rares into the Premier League upgrade or into two player packs, whichever one you want to do or league SBCs if you want to do that as well. So we are entering that time frame where everybody wants to grind. And I'm super duper excited for that because that's going to be such a fun, basically Thursday through Monday, which I think the full team's going to be in packs through that time period. It's going to be such a fun grind. It's going to be so fun to be ripping upgrade packs, to be hoping to get team of the year cards. It's going to be a blast. I'm telling you, it's going to be so much fun. And the market's going to be crazy too, because a lot of people are going to have coins to buy and continue to put teams together. And that's what I've been doing today is just quick flipping with the trades. I'm having the best luck with icons, to be completely honest. I've actually flipped two Yashins today. Uh, that was pretty fun. I have flipped a couple other small cards as well. Of course, I have all these Ryan Kents. I got a Diego Jota that I flipped. And I'm working on some stuff right now from stuff that was just really, really low. Kind of listening for a couple lazy buyers. I got some Carlos Velas at about 110K. He was 150 over the weekend, so I'm flipping that. The one other thing I want you guys to look out for right now is just the massive, massive overinflation, or not just overinflation, just plain hype on headliner cards. I mean, look at a lot of these guys and look and see how much they've gone up already. Diego Carlos Sevilla is on two wins. They've got two easy opponents left. So people just started buying up this card, right? He's up 100,000 coins from literally this weekend. Uh, Goretzka is up 200k from his absolute lowest. Holland is like one of the only ones that is still low. And they have a game on Saturday. Holland scored two goals in their last game, uh, but they don't really have a streak, right? They're only on a one game win streak, I believe. Or actually, they might have drawn that game. So they have no streak going. Um, but Holland is a prolific scorer. So, you know, a lot of these headliner cards are very overpriced because they have upgrades coming or pending upgrades. Ben Yedder today, when the upgrade packs were released, I think I talked about this in the video last night too. He went down to 1.4 mil flat, right? Right here, 1.399. And now he's back up to almost 1.5 because people realize, hey, this guy's getting a plus one. So Wednesday, again, plus ones will be Ben Yedder, Mares, and SMS, I think. But then Joao Felix has the potential to get an inform. And oh, Joao, Joao Felix is going up to a plus one as well. So it's almost, are they going to give him a plus two, give him an inform and the plus one for the streak? Or are they just going to give him the plus one for the streak? So the headliner cards right now are very inflated. At least a few of them are. Uh, Bamba as well, up a ton. So just kind of keep an eye on those. Uh, there's a lot of hype and there's a lot of coins on the market to sustain those very high prices. But again, even just this Pogba, 651, so freaking high on the market. That's pretty crazy. Today, we're talking about SBC fodder for a second as well, earlier today on the live stream. If they do drop a player SBC that is pretty hype today, yes, you might see some panic selling. That might be an opportunity to, to maybe pick up what you would call sort of a Thursday flip, I guess, um, if there is panic today. Um, but the one thing I would say is if there's an SBC that comes out today that is good value that a lot of people want to do or maybe even start before um, they do upgrade packs throughout later this week, watch the SBC fodder because if it bounce, bounces today, I think today if, if SBC fodder goes up, it would be a great day to cash out on the short term for these cards because, again, when Thursday comes back, when we have lightning rounds coming out and we have all the saved up packs being open for the full team that's going to be out, I mean, it's going to be madness. There's going to be supply everywhere. So what I would do is if there's an opportunity to get your SBC fodder out today, I would 100, 100% do that because, I mean, it's going to be another pack spam just like Friday. It's going to be another pack spam with the... Um, with the full team impacts because that's that's literally it feels like that's what everybody is waiting for right now that's what everybody wants is that full team in packs plus the 12th man so and then and then of course if ea is going to drop anything crazy and put like a bench in or have like i guess nominees or something else happen uh that would be probably coming out thursday as well so we'll see what ea has in store but again we'll be getting van dyke today uh ramos trent Davies and Neuer in packs. They're going to be the most affordable team of the years out of the whole entire team. So we will see probably more people going out and trying those. Um, not saying I think link investments would really rise, but just keep an eye on the market today. I don't expect anything too crazy unless EA really wants to drop a bomb. 
And probably again, that player SBC is going to come out at 7.30 p.m. UK. What do you call it, guys? You guys, you guys call that half seven? Um, they've been dropping the content an hour and a half late on some of the stuff. So that's something to kind of do. I need to do this 84 plus player pick before it goes away. So that I will have that available for when I open packs for the full team. And I'm probably going to start crafting these because uh, I would rather just buy the Premier League rares right now. Uh, if you invested in rares for these SBCs, what I would say is you want to wait as long as possible because these guys are going to they're going to be pack supply, pack supply on Thursday. And then you'll probably see even more lightning rounds on Friday, maybe Saturday. But if you invested in rares and you're not going to do packs, the longer you wait, in my opinion, the better. Unless you see them hit 1.2K um, right away, which means they maybe could even go higher. But I would wait to sell your rare golds if you did invest until honestly Sunday or Monday morning right before uh, the team of your cards could go out of packs because the longer you wait, that less supply is going to be there and people are still going to be grinding and grinding and grinding until they go away. So that's what I would say. And of course, everybody who invested, most people try to sell right away and then that just floods the market with more supply and the prices don't actually rise. So hold off on selling those right away. But that's the video for today, boys. We have defenders today. I do expect a decent amount of content. And then the 12th man being revealed. Um, we'll be opening packs, of course, on the Twitch live stream. That link is down below in the description. You'll see me preparing and still trading on this market as well because we got to make coins in order to open more packs and have more fun in this game. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up, comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.